Hello, and welcome to this demonstration of ProEdit. Today, we'll be going over how to create a procedure using the unique procedure wizard. Begin by clicking on Start Procedure Wizard. Then, click Multimeter. Then, enter in the manufacturer of your multimeter, being Mega, and the model number, being AVO 300. Then select the meter display. Then begin by selecting the range information, being the lower range 400 mV to the highest range being 600 volts. Then enter in the percent of range and the number of counts or any other specifications required. Then moving on to AC volts, repeat the same process by selecting the lower range and the highest range. Then enter the instrument specifications and then the frequency. Repeat this for DC current, AC current, ohms, capacitance and frequency if the meter supports these functions. After entering in all the specifications for the required ranges, we can now use the linearity. Simply select the function, then go down to the linearity range box, select the right range, for example 40 volts, then the linearity step, for example 10 volts. Then, any additional checks such as continuity bleeper, diode test or bar display. Then, finally check the settings. And then select the build type, new or appended older procedure, then click build. To further edit procedures, either search via the procedure number or the model number. In this case, we'll use the procedure number. Then, click on the test, click accept. From here, we can confirm that we're on the right procedure by checking the model number and the version number and certificate type. From here, we select the uncertainty statements. Now, we can see all the test data by clicking list. To edit a test, simply select the desired test and click OK. For ranges with different specifications, these are easily adjusted. Simply enter the test and then adjust the accuracy. From here, you can also select prompts and add custom prompts if needed. To add a custom prompt, simply take an image using your webcam or camera Then simply select link image slash video, select the image you wish to use, click OK on the dialog box, then add custom prompt text. This will then be displayed later on in ProCal. Please see our ProCal video for this custom prompt. For more videos, please visit our YouTube channel or visit us at www.transmal.com.